Hello, today we're going to be talking about our Model Model Bosley Curl as well as the Lovely Curl. As you can see, I'm showing you the Posley Curl, which comes 20 in a pack. They're above each other, 10 on top, 10 on the bottom. And I'm using number 4 at the very back of my hair in the OT30 as we go up to the top. Here is what's going to be at the very top of my head, the lovely curl um, in an ombre, which is the OT30. Here is my braid pattern um, for today and for the next couple of weeks. Um, so you can see they're going straight back. I had a few braided closer together, so I was thinking about the part, but I kind of do that more with the straight hair. So of course you need your tools. Um, and this is number four is the first pack that I was going to use. So yay, there it is. It comes in groups of 10. So um, as you can see, we're going to get started. One of the things that I do is start from that top loop and kind of find where the natural break is. Um, I twist it a little bit just to kind of keep it in place as I am adding it to the hook. Find my next spot. Stick the hook through, put the hair on the hook, and close the latch. Um, pull the hair through, of course take it off of the latch, and then um, I loop this hair one time around. Um, hair that is straighter you would do twice around, and actually some of them I did do um, more than once. And I shouldn't say twice around for longer hair, you would, the straighter hair you would do more of a four or five loops um, but again I'm showing you just on a different side of my head that I am finding that natural break putting it on the latch hook pulling it through um, putting the two strands in between the circle that was made when I pulled it through um, and pulling it down, only having to do it once with the type of hair that it is. So this is what one pack looks like. And as you can see, I got some spots at the bottom that I end up going back and filling up. Um, it's more in the middle because that's where my little bun was. So here's two packs. Um, and as you can see, I filled in a little bit more than what I had at first. And my forehead is shiny. Goodness, oh my goodness, anyways. So that was two packs, and I started after that second pack using still the Posley, but going to the color. So the OT30 is now being put in. And there is your third pack. Um, and as you can see, I still have a ways to go. This hair used a lot more than what I was anticipating. I'm glad I found it on sale and bought a lot of packs. Um, so here is four packs of hair, um, which normally in a lot of cases, I would only buy four or five. And as you can see, that would have not worked in this case. Here is five. I told I was by my family, I was looking like Bozo and I needed to finish my hair because I stopped and ate dinner. So um, here's my Bozo look. Hey y'all. All right, so then from that point, I went to the lovely curl um, and then put the longer pieces on the top of my head. I had also, if you look really closely, see that I trimmed the sides and the back of my head before I did that. So it's a little bit more neat. And as you can see, it's coming together. So I have six packs of hair. It's amazing what you see when you go back and look at these things as you're doing them. Oh, that was seven. So now we're at eight. It took a total of eight packs of hair, y'all. Eight packs. But I like it. It's cute. I'm moving it around, trying to find the different spots. If you like it too, please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Um, like this video. Um, and please watch my other videos. And I also do... Um, um, furniture videos as well so anyways find me look me up y'all subscribe to my channel I will see y'all the next time it's good having you with me bye now